Hey, everybody, welcome to the 3200 podcast, man. This is R&B Ike on the smooth tip, man. Getting ready uh, with my brothers. I got my big brother Leo on. What's happening, Leo, today, man? How you feeling today? Oh, yeah. It's going down, bro. (laughs) All right, then I got Cousin Chris. Cousin Chris. Raphael Sadiq, man, what's happening, bro? How you doing oh, today? Good, baby, what's good? What's happening? What's happening? Yeah, feel the vibes, feel the vibes. Then I got R&B money. Jonathan is in the house tonight. What's happening with you, Jonathan? It's going down, baby. Yeah, yeah. And we are live, and we are in control, and we're talking like this because today we are reviewing Tank's album. R&B money. Got to give a lip. Got to do the lick, lip thing, man, like you boy off a sip, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What is oh, happening, man? <laughs> what is happening, man? Welcome to the show, man. Today, uh, man, we are reviewing Tank's new album, R&B Money. Listen, if you don't have any kids and you're looking for kids, this is the album you want to listen to, bro. This is this album was all about sexing. <laughs> <laughs> it was 90s R&B. <laughs> all the way through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very descriptive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, man, man. How y'all feeling about this album, man? How y'all feeling about it? Oh, man, I uh, I almost didn't make it through this album. I had a couple of pauses. Uh, <laughs> I accidentally had it planned while the wife was here. And, uh, she, she, you know, I was sitting here. Actually, I was in this seat right here. And then next thing you know, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Viagra <laughs> <laughs> tank, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, it's start to finish, man. You you better be ready to put it in that work. You you don't. <laughs> the aphrodisiac. Oh man. yeah, man. yeah. I felt I felt dirty listening to the album, but I didn't really think- <laughs> By the, by the yeah. third song, man, I had to go stick a condom on and listen to the rest of it, man. Uh, <laughs> oh. oh, man, how you feel about it, Chris? How you oh, feel? Oh, man, I feel like I was, like, in the strip club for part of it. <laughs> but, like, man, when he got to, like, track number five, Flow with Jay Valentine, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's like, some baby making music like it's very <laughs> <laughs> oh y'all hey, baby oh, y'all with daughters man <laughs> y'all with older daughters y'all better watch it back yeah <laughs> yeah my song number seven man I was taking off my underwear and throwing it at the <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what was going on I just just felt uh, like taking off my underwear the uh-huh. whole thing man it's like it sounded like it's kind of had his like his key switch going on, like he's whining a lot in some of them songs. <laughs> <laughs> How you feel about it, John? Oh man, it's it's a good album. Uh the one I like, uh it, it didn't have a star by, but it was No Limit with uh Alex yeah. Isley. Yeah, uh, I like that one and the make sure with Feather, the one with the ladies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, he didn't even slow down with that. He still was yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, dang, dang, you for real, for real. I like the one to see through love, Chris Brown. Yeah, yeah, that one was nice. That one was nice. Yeah. I tell you the way you should, if you are, if you a fella, the way you should listen to this CD is, you need to start with, uh, especially if you having issues with your woman right now, you need to start with "I Deserve" and "Too Late." Yeah. So you can realize the the yeah. woman that you as and that you have and who she is, and then hit can't let it show because that's another one that's going to get you just right, you know. And then after that, when she around, start with number one. 
Just start with number one and just go down. You going to get there, man? Well, yeah, brother. Forget what he just said, man. You have problems with your girl? Start with number two, go into number three, man. Just go straight. Just go straight in. Just go straight in. <laughs> Straight into it, buddy. Hey, but I tell you, number two, knock her head off and be like, ah! I'm telling you, man, it was so many hits on there, man. So many, uh, so many good songs, man. I'm like, dang. Yeah. Even when he got to the end with Summer Killer, I thought that was going to be a fan song. It still wasn't really all that fast. I was like, oh, Tank, you going to give me a break? Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> I like it. Um, you know, it started. He brought it back. You know, eighties, nineties R and B. You know, everybody had to start off with that that intro. You got to You got to That intro got to be on point. You know, and uh, oh, no. I feel like he was bringing that back. Best best R and B intro, man. Who had the best R and B oh, intro? Man. Hey man, I'm I'm Silk gotta be up there. Silk, I, Silk, Silk, you trolled the one. Let me because it was just let me let you up and down, and it was echo. It's like, down, down. <laughs> 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 uh, dang man, it was so many crazy uh, intros, man. Shout out to find that one real quick and play that. All right, one. all right, who was that? The Silk one. Oh no! I, I already know what you're gonna say. You know what I'm gonna say, Christine. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That Aaron Hall, that Aaron Hall yeah. intro, bro. That Aaron Hall intro was the best. You man. remember what was the Aaron Hall intro? But you have to find it real quick, man. Play that, man, because I, I can't even hit them notes. I ain't even go try to what act they, like I can. Was hit them. it "I Miss You" or which one was? Nah, it's the beginning of their album, man. Like they wake you up. <laughs> they wake you up our sister man while he get that together man I tell the story man our sister uh, our sister Christine man she loved Aaron Hall so every night we went to sleep when Aaron Hall dropped that, uh, that, that, that album with uh, I Miss You on it man she would play that album all day long all day, over over at night we tried to sleep and all you could hear is the intro just <laughs> that's all. That's all. <laughs> that intro was crazy, man. It's just that, yeah, just all vocals, man. <laughs> crazy intro, man. Best intro out there, man. I'm pretty sure uh, R. Kelly might have one that's better, but I, I can't remember that. Is <laughs> R. Kelly has so many, man. Uh, what you got, Joe? You have one. Oh no! I, I just knew you was gonna say that. Cause no, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just because <it's> sister. <laughs> oh, so man, one of the big things, man, and Jonathan, you mentioned it, man. One of the big things that he said he did this album for is he's, he. They were having a discussion, man, on on its R and B dead, and he said he's he's trying to bring life back to R and B, man. How y'all feel about that, man? Y'all think R and B is, is dying? I don't think it's dying. I think it's it's. When I hear that, it's more show, male chauvinistic thing to where it's like the R&B males are like like that Omarion, Mario battle. Yeah. Everybody on Marion on down, that's pretty much what most of the R&B males are. They don't have the they don't have the the talent and technique of Mario. Right. So I feel like on the male side, yeah, probably. So on the female side, though, hell, nah, man. All yeah. these ladies that's doing R and B is, and they're talented. Number one, they're writing. They 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 can actually sing. Um, they can play instruments, man. Her, uh, Jasmine Sullivan. Um, yeah. Uh, what you call it, Ire? Who we just got to be talking about? Uh, shoot, there's so many of them. I think on the ladies side, aren't they killing R and B? And yeah, and I think that's yeah. what some of the dudes are kind of, oh, R&B is not. Nah, that's not dying. The ladies are just killing the gang, man. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got I, I think, go ahead. What'd you say, John? You ain't got this, though. Baby, I 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. Let me tell you, man. I went to a Silk concert. Silk came to uh, Masawa Air Base, man. When I first got to the base, man. And the only reason I was there, me and the homeboys went because they kept saying Silk was coming, and that's when No Limit was really, really hot. So we thought it was Silk the Shocker, man. We come up, the little ball head dude come on stage, like, man, what the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> but, bro, uh. Bro, they was singing, man, and, and the little ball one, man, you know, he be doing that licking the lips thing all the time and stuff, man. He kept singing to this dude, girl, this big old, <laughs> it was like a scene from when, when Martin and uh, Casey was arguing, it was like oh, yeah. that, like dude was buff, oh, yeah. and he walked up, he walked up, dude was singing to his girl, so he walked on stage, and he started taking his shirt off, and he was like, he started dancing and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> It was crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy. Oh man, what you about to say, John? Oh no, nah, I'm just laughing at you. You man, uh, this, ain't no. This, I got a silk story too at a concert. I can't remember which concert I went to. I think when we went to the one in Oklahoma, and Silk was there, and the little ball dude, that dude be off the chain. Now, the, one of the dudes was drunk. I don't care what. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We had a the drunk with two. He was, he was drunk at ours too. And oh, everything wow. else, but uh the ball dude, man, he was just pointing, doing like that, and you know, and all that stuff. And I was like, what the hell is he doing? And finally a chick came on stage, man. This dude, and she was she was because the ball dude is short, she mm -hmm. was pretty tall. He picked this chick up, dude, dancing and doing all kinds of trace on freaky stuff on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Why ain't he singing? <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, hey, yeah the little ball one is off, off the hook. Yeah, Silk is going to give you that concert. You go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. I think the problem with, with Tank CD and the R&B thing is um, people like Tank, Trey Songs. You know, those yeah. guys and stuff like that, they've already proven that. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that's a problem. The problem mm -hmm. is the people below them. Yeah. I mean, Chris Brown and already proved it. The ones below them, I don't think um, is have proven themselves. And just like that one dude, I'm the king of R&B for 25 through whatever he said. Jack, oh, Jack, Jack Keith. Uh, Jack Keith. Yeah. Whatever the hell his name is. And he wasn't, he, he's not all that good. He can't even sing. Am I? Yeah, sing. just yeah. saying. He can't sing. Like horrible. Mm-mm. <clears throat> ain't doing nothing like that. He ain't doing it like that. He can't do it. That's the thing. Step in my room. That's it. Hey, yeah. We just got canceled. No. <laughs> <laughs> we just got canceled. Like, <laughs> Hey, you ain't canceled in the bedroom, though. You know? <laughs> <laughs> There's a meeting, boy. There's a meeting there. Uh, <laughs> <right on. laughs> nah. Nah, I think what really happened, man, I don't think RB ever died. It just became uh, almost like rock and roll, man. It, came, it became popular. You know what I mean? Uh, more people start listening. As as we got those, and I hate to say this, we got those boy bands in the two thousands, you know, Backstreet Boys and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, it it kind of introduced okay. almost like Elvis. They almost introduced another culture to uh, R and B, uh, R B sound. Because I mean, you know, them dudes, you know, yeah. them dudes were just doing the same thing boys to men, and all the boy band groups we've been having for years been doing, and they just came and did the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think I think R and B became popular, and the sound kind of changed. The more popular it got, yeah. uh, where it wasn't just R and B anymore. But I don't think it ever died, or it will die. Uh, nah, nah, you know it's still there. I think some, and and it's kind of weird. It's like the the talented brothers, 
um, they're they're following kind of that neo soul tip. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. You you starting to see a lot of them towards the, the Daniel Caesars. Uh, they had another little dude. He sing uh, it's his new song, and he like kind of high, but uh, I like him. Uh, what's his name? It's a little neo soul too, a little bit. Uh, Who's that? Givion or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. A whole bunch of them is kind of like they they hit kind of a neo soul kind of thing, sir. Yeah, yeah sir. I don't know yes. where you put sir at, but yeah. sir, you can throw him R and B. You can throw him neo soul. He's he's talented too. Um, Bryson Tiller, another one. Yeah, which Bryson, and that's the thing too. He's versatile a lot of these too. Rappers are singing. Yeah. And what's so crazy is that some of these rappers seem better than the um Jacuzzi and all the other. They seem better than who's supposed to be R and D. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's it's kind of I don't know. It's kind of crazy, but I don't feel like it's it's dead or dying. I just feel like the the young ones they need to prove themselves. Young males, ladies. Keep doing what you're doing. Y'all yeah, I think as long as the ladies are doing their thing, man, R and B for for sure I'll always be around. Cause I mean, it's so many of them that's that's proved them, proving themselves and still coming out. So I don't think it's died. I don't yeah. think it'll ever die. Nah, you you know what I miss in R and B, man, and, and R Kelly kind of started this downward downward spiral. <laughs> I miss the love, man. Like nobody talk about love, just like this album here, Take Album, man. It's, it's just all. I miss the love. I miss the innuendos. Like I can listen to certain Amen. songs back in the day because they had the innuendos. Be like, they ain't know what we was talking about. You know what I mean? It's like there's no innuendos. There's no love. It's like, babe, I'm going to pop your head. I smack that ass. <laughs> you know, they, it's just. Hey, it's just straight into the, the point, of man. R&B album, man. This is just the B side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the A side used to be the fast songs and the yeah. love and all the other stuff like that, but the B side is when things got serious. You know, it's like, oh <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that was but there was still cool. like in your windows, man. It was in your windows. It wasn't straight. I mean, yeah, I mean it wasn't as descriptive as it is. Yeah, like. yeah, real descriptive yeah. and real just like they like get straight to the point. Come on, man. We talk about tape. Yeah, what's on when we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. And that's how R. Kelly was, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah R. R. Kelly started there. He goes, you know, do, 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 do. And then the next track, you know, he. he <laughs> Girl, let me talk to you. Why make it more? Really? You <laughs> thought <laughs> out with 12 play, man. You can hey. hate. He told you yeah. one through twelve what he about to do. <laughs> yeah. He still had them in your window songs, man. You remind me of your Jeep. Uh, you know, what I mean, that was kind of in your window ish. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna bring you back. Hold on, because this this is how how crazy R. Kelly was with it, because he he just had your mind going every which way. So I'm I'm gonna bring some up. Go ahead and talk, but I'm gonna bring some up while you. All like right. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything y'all didn't like about the album, man? I, I'll start off, man. I didn't really like that. I deserve so. I kind of, I just like the original one. I ain't, I ain't like, I, I care too much for the little, the little yeah. remix. I thing. like, you know, which is funny. I like the I deserve song. The original, like you say, I love the original better. Yeah. Yeah. But I like this one because if you listen to the lyrics, man, it's funny. It is funny. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he was like, did this dude just propose? You know, <laughs> 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 because, you know in the original, you know, he talks, and then, you know, at the end, he starts screaming. <laughs> yeah, at the end, yeah, he just, he just chased his chick up a street. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> I grab my coat and chase you down the street. <laughs> <laughs> right <up this> <laughs> body, like, yeah, I cheated on you. <laughs> uh, from straight uh, boys to be the Ike Turner at the end of the song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at first he's kind of humble. You right? You right? At first he was humble with it, you know. But, uh, 
We're about to end up. You see this, bro? You on your, you at home, cut the grass, and then this, you know, you see a chick running down the street. <laughs> and then a man running behind. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, oh. We need a move oh. in this neighborhood. They they too real. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm saying. I okay. I, I'm going to R. Kelly. It's his second album. R. Kelly. Now you go to from this year intro. Well, well. exactly. Well. So you go. Uh, yeah, that was a good intro. Yeah. Then you go. Club. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you remind yeah. me did the step in my room, but then it go crazy, down low and everything else. Yeah. <laughs> you go haywire after that. How's she going crazy? You can attract religious love, you know what I'm saying? So we <laughs> 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 started it. We started it, Robert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Robert started that downward spin of of and it, it just went bad from there, man. As soon as he cursed on the R&B song, oh, yeah. it was done. It was done. Everybody. Everybody's like, okay, I'm putting it. We can do this? Yeah. Look, he the was temptations crazy. would never. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the four wow, tops man. would never, man. Yeah, I was <laughs> brother, never, right? Yeah. <laughs> the pips would never, man. The pips. <laughs> oh, I don't know about Gladys. <laughs> oh, uh, so, man. Go ahead, go ahead. What you got? No, I said R. Kelly. He was he was like the church, you know, the the doors of the church. He welcomed in his R. B. Man. <laughs> oh man. So let, let's light this album up, man. Let's light this album up, man. Let's rank it up, man. How many flames you gonna give it, man? Uh, who ready? Who ready? You ready there, Chris? Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna go. Only thing I didn't like on it was the whining. Sound like he was crying the whole time, begging. You know, I ain't no begging. I ain't gonna no beggar, you know, but I'm gonna go give it. I gotta give it a four because it's a solid album. You know, it ain't a classic, but it's a solid. Four, four. Chris giving it four flames, man. Uh, vocals were there, man. Vocals were there. Uh, love, love the album, man. It's a pretty decent album, decent album, man. Uh, man, it is, it's just straight. I, I, I say this, I give it this, man. The versatility of the album wasn't all that versatile, man. It's just all bedroom tracks for me, man. It was all bedroom tracks, you know. It didn't get that mix, that mix sound. So for that reason and that reason alone, man, I'm giving I'm gonna give it three flames. I'm gonna give it three flames. You what you got? Man? Who's next, Jonathan? What you got? Uh, yeah, I I like I'm like uh, Chris. I give it four um, only because you know, I, like you said, Isaac, I do like an album that I could just you know give me that feel like back in the day. I pop in the tape and just let it play. Yeah, so, yeah. Some of them I would kind of skip, uh, but you know, some of them like, like I said, they'll make the, the playlist. You know, uh, fellas, we used to grab a couple uh, tracks and, and make a playlist back in the day. So yeah, some of them make a playlist. So I give it four, four flames for Jonathan. Four flames for Jonathan. All right, Leo, Leo, what you giving it, man? You you probably popped off a kid. So you probably popped off a kid on this, man. What you what you got? <laughs> five, man. <laughs> you giving it five, five? What I would do. <laughs> <laughs> Tank was on point. I don't yeah. even think she it was on her mind before this the song started playing, and then it was like, you know what? <laughs> 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 So I can't take, you know, like you said, his voice was there. Uh, you know, the lyrics was there. I think he did. I think he did what he said this album was supposed to do. It was supposed to be a bedroom, booming um, album. So that's exactly what he did, and he put it down there. He was like, "We ain't going to no club. We ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's in the house." In the bedroom, already ready. That's what this is for. Yeah. 
And and also, guys, this is his tenth album, but also he was dealing with adversity before he even he, he was coming with an album, but he pushed it forth because he was having ear issues. Uh, he went deaf actually in one of his ears, and uh, he was slowly going deaf in the other. So he was like, "Let's push it forth." Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to hear. So, uh, hey, shout out to Big Tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I, I hear that's what happens, man. That, that's a uh, side effect of that Viagra, man. He's been pushing too much. <laughs> 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 nah, seriously, man. Press, press for it takes, man. Take, man. Uh, Hopefully, he get through that, man. All I can say, Tank, you shouldn't have went to the orbit. You wouldn't be having those hearing problems. But if you do, go to your local VA, get that disability. <laughs> Ain't like you need it, but just a case, just a case. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, man, that's what we think about it, man. Let us know in the comments right now. Like them comments up. Let us know what you think about the album or what you think about R&B, man. Is R&B dying? Let us know, man. Hit up the uh, comments, man. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, man. We'll see you next time. Have a good time till your side hurting. <laughs> 3200, but you already know this. You know it. Couple of brothers hard working and focused. Let's go. Intellectual, entertaining for sure. Hey, hey, 32.